Hello fellow collectors and gamers, this is Collection THX 1138. Today I'd like to share with you my original vintage 1978 Lord of the Rings board game by Milton Bradley. This was in support of the Ralph Bakshi animated film I saw on TV. The object is to be the first player to reach Mount Doom and throw in a ring. One cool plastic ring to rule them all. We'll take a look at the rules, all of the components and cards. First let's take a look at the very aesthetic board. It's 19 and a half by 24 inches. It's divided into three main parts. You pick up rings at three towns along the way. You deal with Nazgul's at the top, then orcs in a mountain range, then cross the river to go through mountains around the Black Gate, or get past Shalob the Giant Spider, orcs, Nazgul's, and Gollum to get to Mount Doom with at least one ring to throw in to win the game. Before I show you the individual components and rules, I'll do something different and show you the types of cards you can play in certain situations on the board. Each player has a hand of five cards at all times. There's a draw pile and a discard pile. When all the cards are used, you reshuffle them. This is not a cooperative game like the story. It's a competitive game in which you can slow down your opponent's progress using these cards. You can move one opponent one space if they're on a clear space. You can cancel an opponent's card and play that at any time, which means you can try to cancel that card. You can trade hands with an opponent, but you never know what hand they have been dealt. These two special cards are probably good to save towards the end of the game. This way your opponent will have a harder time throwing a ring into Mount Doom. And potentially if you don't have any rings left, you can take one from them. So you don't use dice or spinners to move, except special dice through the mountains. So you start at the top of the board. You move one space per turn through the clear white spaces. Unless you have a move two spaces or three spaces card. You pick up your first ring at the town of Bree. I usually put the rings in these large circles. Then you try to defeat Nazgul's or escape them. You can do that in several different ways. You can either roll the six sided die and roll a five or six to advance one space. You can defeat and remove a Nazgul and advance one space with a card. Or move a Nazgul card and then advance one space is what it should say. And what you want to try to do is to move the Nazgul onto a clear space, which is a white space, that one of your opponents is on. Or if you have a Magic Escape Advance one space, take another turn card, or a ring that does the same thing, you can escape the Nazgul and leave them on the board. There's a Magic Resurrect a Nazgul card. It works like the Move a Nazgul card, except in this case you use a Nazgul that's been removed from play. Then you cross a safe river space onto Rivendell where you gain two rings. Nothing negative can happen to you on a river space or a town space. Then you move down a narrow path and you may have to get past a Nazgul and an Orc and you reach a mountain range in the center of the board. At that point you have three choices to get through the mountains. You either go around them through clear spaces or attempt to defeat one Orc after the other in an underground passage. You do that with the roll of a 5 or 6 on the die, a defeat orcs and advance one space card, or a magic escape card, or a ring. Your third option is to not fight any monsters, but move through the mountain spaces. You do that with a move one space through the mountains card, or roll a special die that has one through three. You move it down one number on each turn until you get to the red dot. Then you can move forward one space. However, no Nazgul's can be moved onto a mountain space. So after you've navigated the top, gone to two towns and through a mountain range, defeating Nazgul's and orcs, you reach the town of Lorien. There's an asterisk on it because it means that you have to have three rings when you leave Lorien no matter how many that you had before you got there. You enter the bottom third of the board 
once you leave Lorien. You cross safe river spaces into the Mount Doom mountain range. You can move through the mountains using the mountain dice or cards and then the clear spaces around the black gate using the move two or three spaces or move one space per turn. There's another route to Mount Doom. You have to escape Shalob the giant spider using a magic escape card, a ring, or a five or six on the die. There are no special cards like Nazgul's or Orcs, but you defeat these Orcs the same way you did the others. No matter which way you go, this is the entrance to Mount Doom. There's two Orcs and two Nazgul. Once again, you defeat them the same way you had in the rest of the game. Finally, you have to escape Gollum with a magic escape card, a ring, or a five or six on the die. No matter how you do it, as part of the same turn, you throw a ring into Mount Doom. You have to have at least one ring left to do that. Then you win the game and save Middle-earth. So that is a good overview of the gameplay of Lord of the Rings Adventure board game. The Quest to Save Middle-earth. Now let's take a look at all the components and all 54 cards. These are the special movement cards including mountain spaces. And here's most of the cards you play against opponents to slow them down, including the powerful Gollum and Boromir cards. And also you might want to draw a new hand if you don't like the cards you have. Here are the Orc and Nazgul combat cards. You can see Move a Nazgul is another premium card to have. Here are all the magic cards designated by a black background that can't be cancelled. Here's where you put the deck of cards to draw from and then the discard pile which will be reshuffled when you're out of cards. Here's a close up of all the named characters you have to choose from. Here's the back of the box which is also in full color on coated stock. It has some flavor text that you can pause the video to read. Finally, here's still frames of the rules printed on the inside of the box top. If you have any questions as to how the game is played in specific instances, you can also pause these screens to read them. I may show gameplay in another video. That and other games, including some you may have never seen before, are in the game's playlist link at the end. I also have Star Wars and collectible videos you can check out. I hope you enjoyed this look at Middle Earth and please subscribe for more. Click send me updates so you don't miss other interesting videos.